Howdy do, howdy do. Today we are going to do another project. Today we're going to upgrade the LED lighting inside the car. I'm sorry, update the normal lighting to LED lighting inside the car. I have a 2014 RX 350. And it's interesting because this car came with some LEDs and some non-LEDs. Let me show you what I mean. So, as you'll see, the rear trunk has three lights. I have them off at the moment, but these are not LEDs. These are switches. I usually leave them on and then they turn on and off with the car. I've already removed this one and that one up there, but they're all the same. Those use a weird kind of a, a light bulb like this, which I'll be installing in another video. I have them on order, LED versions. These are very dim and they barely give any light, especially if it's dark somewhere and you need to look in your trunk. Um, they kind of suck. All right, coming around. In the car, uh, there's several lights that, they're all, there's lights all over the car. Um, so a long time ago, I switched out the, the stock light to the bottom of all of the doors with these um, lights that show the Lexus logo on the floor. Uh, so I have those on, on all four lights. If you don't have them, you can either switch out the entire housing like I did with these projector style ones, um, or you can just replace the bulb. We're not gonna replace the bulb because they're already LEDs now, because I already did that a long time ago. But there's a whole bunch of stuff in the car that needs to be changed. So um, you will notice I have, these are the two main lights here. Those are not LEDs. That's also not an LED. But weirdly, it comes stock with LED reading lights throughout the car. So why? I don't know. Makes no sense. There's also footwell lights. They're off now, but there's a footwell light in each side. Um, what else do we got here? Got the four doors, which we're not going to do. Um, we have these lights. I've removed one already, but the visor lights. These are also non-LED. You put the visors down, open the thing up, and you see it's it's a, like a halogen type. Now, all of the lights I've shown you, except for the ones in the trunk, in the, in the trunk area, are the same. And so what I did was I bought uh, this set here, Yorkum LED light. It was like 10 or 11 bucks. 10 of them. Comes with 10 lights. They look like this in a little baggie that looks like this. And uh, I'll link down below um, uh, to a, a video that I, I saw, a great channel. Um, it's a fellow down in, I think he's in the Carolinas somewhere, uh, where he does the same thing. He used the same set. So I'm just gonna kind of document my experience. Maybe it'll help some of you guys out there who might wanna do the same thing. Um, it does come with a little trim remover. So, it comes with this, so this is good for you know getting pieces off without hopefully damaging your vehicle uh, much of it all. Hopefully not at all is what you'll be damaging your vehicle. But I also have a set of these orange ones of all different shapes and sizes, also trim removers that I have from um, a previous project where I was uh, uh, putting in a, a dash cam and you know hiding the hiding the wiring that runs to the back camera in the uh, in the trim. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way around. In today's video, we are not replacing the three in the back because I still have not gotten the new and improved weird looking ones. But today what we are going to do is replace all the other lights, again, minus the doors. Now, I wasn't gonna plan on replacing the visor ones, but I think there's a chance I pulled up out the visor uh, bulb on the one side you saw, and I think it will fit. I think it's the same type of bulb, which is great because in my pack of 10, um, I'm not using four of them, right? Because I'm not doing the doors because I've already replaced those with the projector ones. So I have some extras. So I'll be able to fix those and replace those in the visors, hopefully too. Now I chose 6,000 Kelvin um, models, which is kind of a cool white. It's, it's like a white light, kind of on the cooler end. Um, I think it'll match the existing LED lights in the front and back, the reading lights and we'll see how it goes. All right, so excuse the unflattering angle here. Let's start off with the driver's side light up there. So what we're gonna do is get our handy dandy little pry tool and excuse uh, the angle here because, so what I noticed when I removed the original one is there's two clips, which makes it a little bit harder, but I removed this side, or the, the left side of that. So I'm gonna remove the right side of this one. I'll set you guys down here. The angles, hey, you can actually kind of see. I'm gonna pry this open and try not to break the clip inside. And there we go, just kind of wedge it out. There we go, I think I got it. Kind of wedge it out and then it comes out like this. So 
you can see the bulb in there, it pulls straight out. So I'm gonna try to do that with two hands because there you go, you can kind of see that. I'm just pulling the, the bulb straight out, jiggling it as I go. So it, hopefully I don't break the glass, I got it. And now it came out at this angle. I'm not sure if it matters. So this side, you can see the bulb here. Um, this, the side with, yeah, they both look the same. I don't think there's a difference between the two sides. So this is what it looks like. So I've got the replacement here. I'm gonna see if this works. I wasn't even planning on this working. I thought this used a different kind of, uh, of a thing. So here's the uh, LED bulb combo thing I got. I'm gonna see if I can just wedge it right in there. Again, if, if it doesn't work, I can flip it around. It might just be backwards because it it's got two sides to it. Let's see if I can wedge this in there without taking the other side out. Sorry, I don't have a great view to show you guys here. Okay, popped in. Now I'm gonna just, oh, it works. Look at that. So I can just pop it right back in. It's flush. And now when I open it, Ta-da, way brighter. Look at that, that's way brighter. Way brighter, super. Next one. All right, I'm on the other side now, the passenger seat. Gives me a chance to sit in all the seats of the car. I usually only sit in the driver's seat. All right, so I've already got this one out from earlier, so I'm gonna get my little bag-o, bag-o LED. Pull one of these bad boys out. See if I can give you a different view because I know last time it was a bit tough. So you can kind of see how it is. There's a little wedge thing that it goes in. And again, I don't think it matters which direction you put. I mean, it only fits in one of two ways, right? Because it's a kind of a horizontal flat little thing. You're gonna kind of jiggle it straight in. See how it popped in there? Now we'll test it. Look at that. Now I can just kind of go, and hopefully not break the clip. I don't want to break the clip. Don't break the clip, Charlie. Wedge it in, gentle. Hang on. Let's do this. Let me down here while I try to get this thing seated again. There we go. And then, look at that. Look how bright that is. You can look at yourself all night with this thing. Look at that, nice and bright. All right, next one. Now I'm gonna go back over to the driver's side where in the footwell, there is a light. Now I don't think I'll turn on unless I turn the, I'm trying to figure out. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it might only come on when it detects that it's dark out, which it's not really. So anyway, there is a light down there. Let's see if I can get down there and show you. Um, right there, I can feel it. Not sure if you can see under the pedal. There it is. That's the light. With the help of a flashlight, I'll be able to see it much better. Here we go. So you can see that there's a little light there right next to where the um, air comes out. So we have the air footwell air thingy and then next to it there's a light now i get this thing out so it's in a piece of plastic it's kind of a floppy piece of plastic but we got to get the cover off so let's try to figure out how to do how to do that okay i've got my little uh, i got two of them i've got my the yellow one that came with this particular set let me start with that one it looks a little thinner Oh, that's a good view for you. So my hand's gonna be in the way. Let's see, I can pop it off on one side. Kind of wedge it in the side here. Let's see if we can, oops, coming. Oh, this is a cheap piece of plastic on the, um, on the thing they gave. I think the one I have might be better. Let's see, which way does this thing come off? One of these four sides, I should be able, there we go. So you get in there and gently pry it. Hmm. It looks like the clips are on the back side. So let me see if I can get it in there and wedge it out. Oops. No. It's wanting to come out, kind of click partially out. This, the, the yellow thing that they give is not great quality. I think the orange one that I have here might be better. So I'm gonna try using that. I wanna avoid hurting the plastic on the car. I mean, granted, you're never ever gonna see. Oh, God, I got it. I know, wedged it in, popped it off. There we go. All right, got it. So, what do we got up in there? Hopefully, a bulb. Yes, but which way does it come out? 
So use our handy dandy thing. Oh, looks like it comes straight down. Jiggle, jiggle, pull and jiggle. There we go. Same kind of bulb right there. All right, let me stick this over here and get out a new LED bulb for our footwell. Um, and hold my thingy me jig so I can see. I am gonna have to figure out how to get this. Uh, is it in there? I'll make sure it goes in good. Oh yeah, it is. It doesn't have to be pushed too hard. It just goes up there nice and gentle. Now let's uh, turn it on and make sure it works. Actually, I figured out how to do it after. There we go. Look at that. It works. Perfect. And so much brighter. I don't know if you can tell. We didn't check it. I'll, I'll show you the other side, what it was like. But look how bright it is now in the footwell there. And much more modern looking. All right, so let's go over to the other side. And you can see um, what it looks like uh, before I change it out. Uh, but before we move on, I'm going to put the cover back on. So all you got to do, get down in here, stick it in. Make sure that's seated well. There's two clips on, oh, it's a good idea to take a look. There's basically um, four clips, two on each side. Two, four. Stick it in, and... Boop, all done. Pops in a lot better than it, a lot easier than it pops out. Check out the other side. Let me just show you what it looks like normally. Now, you might not be able to tell, but the light's on. You can see a soft kind of a glow. Not very bright. Compare that with over here. It's much brighter now. Barely visible, much more visible. Problem is now I have to keep the floors even cleaner. All right, we're under the passenger side now. It's a good idea to keep the lights off as much as possible because these existing lights get hot. Um, uh, so you don't want to burn yourself, you know? So ideally, you can leave them off as much, as much as you can. So here is the light in this one. This one looks like it's a little bit further to the right, actually. It's over here. Oh, oh almost, almost, almost. Oh, that was close. Let's try the other side. Oh, got it. The other one worked better this time. All right, so up in there, we're gonna have a light bulb. Make sure it's not too hot. Yep, I left it off except for that brief demo, so it's pretty good. So pull it out, there we go. Here it is again. You see the socket up in there. Grab another thing out of the bag, the LED. See it in there, let me just, just test it out. Make sure it's uh, in there good. Let me test it before I close it up. Ah, nice and bright. All right, take the four pronged uh, cover and pop it back in. One side and then the other, maybe. Oh, there you go. And let's test it out from over here. So, oh yeah, I'm trying to light off my flashlight. Look how much brighter that is. Look how much more noticeable it is than it used to be, right? It's just significantly more bright. Yeah, it's just way, it's just way brighter. Earlier you could barely tell a glow. Now you can very clearly see that it's lit up. Super. All right, now we've got to do what is probably the hardest two. The Overhead one and the two up here. Let me show you how close the sunroof, how how bright it is originally. So you have these two lights, and you have the of course the the reading lights which are LEDs, um, and it's pretty dim. It does not make quite a lot of light in the cabin. I mean, of course, lighting and stuff is very hard to show on film, on film, on uh, on camera. I'm going to turn these off because they do get hot, and I'm going to need to touch them later. Um, but the issue now is we're going to have to pry this part off, um, and then we'll talk about that one later. So we're going to have to very gently pry it off and figure out how to do that. All right, so I've got my handy dandy two trim removal pieces. Oops, I don't want that on. And I want to very carefully figure out how to get this off without breaking anything. You know, you don't want to break it if possible. All right, so I'm gonna to try to get this in to the side. There is a chance. Stick it in and wedge it. I wanna break the plastic out. I might have to use this. Might 
have to use a little bitty screwdriver just to get in there. I think there's clips on this side. There's clips all around. Oh, wait. The bottom is working. Look, got it. I think I got it. Got it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, whoa. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Didn't have to use a screwdriver. Come straight down. Now, if you look here, it goes on like this. These are the, the clips. There's one, two on the sides, one on the side closest to you, and then three on the side with the reading lights on them. So, there's two light bulbs. They have cooled down. Pull them out. One. Two. Two more out, two new ones, LED upgraded ones. Plug them right in. One, nice and gentle. Two, let's give you a closer look at what this actually looks like. So I replaced, pulled the two out, they were just right next to each other. Put two in, let's test them before we go. Oh, this one is not working, how come? Let's see. Maybe I put it in wrong. Let's try flipping it around. Now they both work. Okay, so that's a good that's a good thing. If it doesn't work for some reason, try just flipping it around. The polarity might just be off. So that is a lot brighter. This and click it. Click and it's good. Look at that. Way brighter. Look at the difference inside. Night and day. And you got the four ones. Look at that. Oh wow. That's significantly. And now, they also match very closely with the existing uh, reading lights, which are here. Oops. You can see the lights turning on and off. See how the colors are like about the same? Let me turn the main ones off. Turn the reading lights on. That's the reading lights. And here's the main light. So now it's like much closer in color. Um, so the colors, uh, the Yorkham ones are, I think they're 6,000 Kelvin. So Kelvin, if you don't know, is kind of, they they, when you're talking about lights, light bulbs and stuff. Kelvin is the um, uh, the warmth of the light. So the lower the number, like a 3000 Kelvin, Kelvin bulb, will be very warm and yellowish. As you get higher and higher, um, if, like, this is 6000, so it's a very cool white. Um, if you get higher and higher, uh, it becomes more and more white and then more and more blue. So if you're going like seven, 8000 Kelvin, that'd be like a very blue looking light. All right, so now we got to figure out the back here. All right, now we're in the back seat where we have two more reading lights that are LED and then the main one, which is not. So we're gonna to have to get this off in a similar way to the front, I think. Editing Charlie here, let me fill you in a little bit on what happened. So basically uh, the back light was a pain in the butt to replace. I couldn't get the clear uh, cover off easily. So I just, re I removed the entire um, uh, overhead assembly. Um, and in doing so, I did break one of the two white little clips that's on the rear side. On the front side, there's like these two hooks, and the rear side, there's two white clips. And the white clips uh, pop into these little holes in the top, and uh, the bottom parts kind of slide into the plastic assembly to hold them there. Well, I broke one of the white clips, um, and it wasn't possible like, to like wedge them in. I couldn't get them out. It was a big pain. Long story short, I managed to get the LED bulb in, um, and I used some pliers and ripped out the uh, 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 the white um, the white little plugs, uh, one of which I had destroyed. Um, and in doing so, I destroyed both of them. But um, they were still functional. So even though they looked like funk, they looked funky. I could still slide them into the little holes in the assembly and click them back into the holes, and it did hold it firmly and nicely, and it is holding it firmly and nicely in place. Knock on wood. So ended up working out well. But the rear light is definitely uh, a big pain in the butt. All right, update. So I managed to get the two white fasteners out. I completely destroyed the way they look. Check this out. Wah, wah. And another one too. Here's the other one. Wah, wah. But they do slide into the little black thing. So I can go like this, slide it in, and it holds it. It holds it pretty. Oh, I can't do this one handed. Hang on, let me stick it in here. So I'm going to slide it in.
slide it in. I ended it a little bit ago, it worked. Slide it in like that, it holds it. And on this one, I don't know if this one's gonna do the same thing, but we'll try. I can slide it in and it'll kind of hold it. So that's, this one is less functional, but it might still work. All right, so let's do it. Let's pop them up. Nice work. Line it up. All right, let's see, is this the right? I don't think it's right. Oh, 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 there goes one. This one stays, this one. Not so well, but I think I line them up. Straight up into that. Hey, look at that. Pretty good. That is good. Look at that. Perfect. What a pain. But I didn't have to buy new fasteners, so good. See, it doesn't it doesn't even come down when I pull on it. It's 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 up there. Perfect. Alright. Alright, check out the uh, lighting. It is definitely, definitely brighter in here. Um, and this is not even with the reading lights on. I turn the reading lights on and the lights match up very nicely in terms of color. The back seat is brighter too. Everything is more bright and more modern. Even look at the footwells are much, much brighter. Very nice. Success! All right, I'll turn this off. There we go.